Okay guys, um, I have an apology to make first, um, and this is exactly why I'm doing this now. Um, on Saturday I went out um, for about five hours, but I only realised after I found the first bit of silver, which you see here, um, that, I only, uh, that I had forgotten my um, memory card for my camera from my last video. I left it in the card reader, so I only had three shots on the Intel memory of the camera, and luckily I managed to get the um, clod shots of the certain items um, that I'll talk about now. And the first item you can see at the top is um, a two and a half gram sterling silver. It's unmarked, but you can tell from the tarnishing. If I just put it in the light, you can tell that silver and the way it sounds when you put it on the when you drop it. It's definitely silver. Um, the weight of it for what it is, two and a half grams, is rather heavy. So you know it's silver, judging by the tarnish. And I would suggest it's probably from a cane. It would be a cane surround. Around the wood would go in the middle. But it's been dropped, probably Victorian period, early Edwardian. But it wasn't until I started finding um, coins. And the first here is a lovely bullhead sixpence. Only my third I've ever found of George III. Very, very nice coin, dated 1816. Um, beautiful little coin, and that was about five inches down. But, as Jed would say, the piece de resistance was this. Beautiful little hammered coin. It's my first ever medieval penny, my first ever hammered silver penny ever. And it turns out to be an Edward II class 11A3, which doesn't mean much on its own, but it means that it was minted in Civitas Dunelm, which is the city of Durham, which is in the north of England, almost on the Scottish border, um, and it dates between 1307 and 1327, which is the whole parameters of Edward II's reign. Um, and you can tell it's him because he has on the crown slightly broken spears, just in, in front of my thumbnail you can see a broken spear of his crown leaning to the left, that tells you it's Edward II for some reason it just happened to be on Edward II's coins it just happened to be broken spears um, and it's issued under Bishop Kellaway with a crozier on the reverse cross um, and the spink reference is 1469 so it dates from the very early 1300s 1307 to 1327 also my oldest hammered coin and the oldest from this site obviously. But that's a fantastic find. I managed to get a picture of it in situ but sadly I wasn't able to film it at the time. Um, but that is my first ever medieval hammered penny and a beautiful collection of silver. And now we'll get on to Sunday's hunts. Ok guys, I'm back out here again, it's quite frosty as you can see, but pulled out the end of the spade from about 5 inches, and look! There's a bronze farthing, sitting right in the earth, it's George V, lovely looking coin, dated 1929, fantastic, good start to the day, lovely coin. OK guys, I'm back out again, um, and I think I've just found me another Roman coin. Um, I'm not sure if this is bronze or if it's silver. If it's silver, it'll be my first. Um, but it's small, it's small enough to be a denarius, but it, I don't think it really has the weight. I think it's a 3rd um, or 4th century copper coin, but I'll uh, wash it up and I'll get back to you. But it looks like it's going to be another Roman coin, which would be fantastic in itself. I'll get back to you. Well guys, it turns out to be a Roman bronze. Um, it's probably an Antoninianus of mid 3rd century date, somewhere around 260 AD. Um, I don't recognise the legend around the edge, um, but I'm pretty sure this will be an official coin, looking at the way it is struck, um, especially the reverse. 
that's very indicative of an official issue. Um, but it's definitely uh, a Gallic Emperor because it has the radiate crown, and so that would suggest that it was somewhere in between 216 and 280 AD, but it could be slightly later. But that's a fantastic find, another beautiful Roman coin, the clearest I've found on this site yet. Um, not the oldest, not the youngest either, but a fantastic find all the same. And it's brilliant to be holding another Roman coin.